Scorpio, you are up for the 2023 Tarot Energy Reading. Before I go any further, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. Okay, so recording this in November. By the way, happy birthday to all the Scorpios out there. All of the readings are up for November. The general reading, the love reading, and the money readings are all up for all of the signs. Collective readings, I've been doing those randomly. Uh, Full moon in Taurus, new moon in Scorpio, Halloween reading, so on and so forth. Whatever reading you watch or listen to, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person sitting here reading energy and tarot cards. You know your story better than I ever could. Now that I said all that, let's go ahead and get into the reading. I'm using my Oracle deck. For the first part, I'm using my custom tarot deck and then I'm using my regular tarot deck. All right. May I have the energy for Scorpio for 2023? May I have the energy for Scorpio for 2023? May I have the energy for Scorpio for 2023? What is it? Okay, we're going to do that again. Because I didn't like that cut. (laughs) What is it that Scorpio needs to hear? What is it that Scorpio needs to hear? There we go. What is it that Scorpio needs to hear? I just heard something about time management. Whatever works. That my time management by, might be very key to um, what you're looking to accomplish in 2023. I just heard that. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. All right. May I have a card, please? Thank you. Oh, Aquarius got this card. All right. So for the number 29, it may be significant for you. This is healing. Some of you, um, maybe your birthday is on October the 29th, but this is healing is what this is. I'm trying to, let me take the lighting down a smidge. There we go. That's a little bit better. All right. So healing. And it says the frequency of healing supports our intrinsic ability to restore our health and wholeness by, consci- by consciously using the information that comes to us through our senses and harmonizing everything accordingly. Let me read it again. The frequency of healing supports our intrinsic ability to restore our health and wholeness by consciously using the information that comes to us through our senses and harmonizing everything accordingly. And Aquarius's reading for 2023 was, um, I believe you have the ability, yeah, you have the ability to heal yourself, which is sort of the theme when, when it comes to this type of card, that you have the ability to heal yourself, but also um, something that I'm hearing for you, Scorpio, is don't ignore the signs or the feelings or the senses. If your spidey sense is tingling, you might want to pay attention to it. And allow that information to come in to help you deal with whatever you're dealing with in life. All right. So let me go ahead and set that to the side. And now I'm about to take a card from the custom tarot deck. These are nothing but quotes in this deck. May I have the energy for Scorpio for 2023? Energy for Scorpio for 2023. Energy for Scorpio for 2023. What is it that Scorpio needs to hear? What is it that Scorpio needs to hear? Something told me to take this card. I'm going to set it to the side. What is it that Scorpio needs to hear? May I have a card, please?
Thank you. That is so interesting. This card came out earlier. All right. So let me read this right quick. This quote is kind of long. It's by Steve Jobs. It says, your work is going to feel a large part of your life. And the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking. Don't settle. As with all matters of the heart, you'll know when you find it. And I will read it again. Your work is going to feel a large part of your life. And the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking. Don't settle. As with all matters of the heart, you'll know when you find it. And that is by Steve Jobs. And then the card I set to the side because something told me to take it. Let's see what it says. This one is by Addison H. Howick or Hollick. It says, before borrowing money from a friend, decide which you need most. Let me read that again. Before borrowing money from a friend, decide which you need most. So for some of you in 2023, you may find yourself in a situation where you need help. You, this is saying if you need to borrow money from a friend, really, really think about it. Make sure that you're able to pay back whatever you borrow. All right. Now, let's get to the main event with the tarot deck. May I have the energy for Scorpio for 2023? May I have the energy for Scorpio for 2023? May I have the energy for Scorpio for 2023? What is it? That Scorpio needs to hear. What is it. That Scorpio needs to hear. What is it. That Scorpio. Needs to hear. I just heard something. Because some of you might be thinking about. What I just said about borrowing money. Don't worry about that. In the sense of don't obsess over it. Thank you. You. You have the ability, if there's any type of financial difficulty in 2023, which honestly, I'm not really getting that, especially now that the Three of Pentacles came out, but whatever, we'll see. Um, anything that happens, healing isn't just about the body. Healing is about everything. Healing can be about the mind as well. Healing can be about relationships. Healing can be about finances. Whatever it is, you have the ability to heal anything that needs healing in 2023. So keep that in mind too. May I have some more cards please? Thank you. Um, words that just came to mind, look before you leap. Look before you leap. Pay attention to the contracts. Any contracts in 2023, please pay attention to them. Three of Cups is in the reverse. Definitely look before you leap. Don't um, sign anything unless you know for sure you can meet the commitment. Now, outside of contracts, you may find some happiness working with someone. One thing that I'm hearing is some of you might go into business with someone. Be careful what contracts you sign. I feel like there might be a situation where you agree to work with someone and it starts out good at the beginning and you're really, really happy. But then... Someone's ego might get in the way of something, whether it's you or them. 
and things might change with the Three of Cups reverse. It's like where everything was great at first at the very beginning. Stuff happened, maybe King of Wands with ego. And then actions were taken uh, without thought, which created stress or which creates stress. And then wounded warrior energy. And then three of cups in the reverse. So I'm going back to if you go into business with someone, make sure you read the contract carefully because it may start out good at first, but then it could change, especially if someone has an ego or something like that, or if there's just a misunderstanding. But regardless, just pay attention to the contracts you sign. Um, I want to take some more cards on this because I feel like something's going to turn around. It's like it, it's good, then it goes down, and then I feel like it's going to go back up again. But let me pull some cards. All right. Okay, shrewd energy. Two of Pentacles, balancing things out. Queen of Swords. This is going back to time management. What I was thinking about earlier. Queen of Swords gives me time management energy. This is Libra energy. I honestly feel some of you may be juggling. Whether it's juggling um, goals and dreams or whether it's juggling jobs or whatever. I feel like there's some type of juggling. Juggling finances. Some of you are going to go into this Queen of Swords energy or you will meet somebody in 2023 that is in Queen of Swords energy that will help you manage whatever is going on. Also, don't forget Queen of Swords can deal with legal too. Queen of Swords is also a divorce card. Um, I'm not picking up divorce. I don't feel that this is um, love related or marriage related. Could be. If that resonates with you, then go ahead and run with it. Whatever. What I'm picking up is I feel like this is business related. It is what I feel like this is. And if there is the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords is going to be the one that fixes all of this. So either it will be you in Queen of Swords energy or there is a Queen of Swords around you that will help you be able to wrap your arms around this and handle the situation. May I have some more cards, please? Thank you. Interesting. Whoa, that really came out, didn't it? So we have Queen of Wands, which can also be an entrepreneur card, just like the King of Wands. Now, if we want to talk about love, since the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands are both on the board... There may be a situation where there's a third party for some of you. The Hierophant came out. That can deal with marriage, but also the Hierophant can deal with commitment, too. And it can deal with institutions as well. I feel for some of you, there may be something happening with an institution. I did. It's coming back to me now, too. Some of you might be a cusp where you are a Scorpio Libra. So like you're in October Scorpio at the very beginning of Scorpio season. If that's the case, I feel like you might be dealing with the IRS in 2023. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. The only reason I'm saying that is because um, in Libra's reading for the money reading for November, Pretty sure it was the November money reading. It was, you need to take this seriously. And I feel like some of that energy is here. But again, I don't feel this is going to be bad. I really don't. Let me have another card. Princess of Cups, which is the Page of Cups, is in the reverse. Which is rejecting an offer. Part of me feels like that might be a settlement offer. Two. If you're dealing with a settlement offer in 2023, you might end up rejecting the offer. Thank you. 
Yeah, because a better offer is going to come in. And now we have the King of Swords on the table. So we have the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords on the table. Now we have the Prince of Cups, which is the Knight of Cups. So this is telling me you're rejecting an offer for a better offer. I feel like some of you might be dealing with a settlement negotiation. And they're saying, okay, we're going to give you this. Or either we're going to take this. And you're like, nope. I'm not paying that or either I'm not accepting that offer. And then they're going to come back. Okay, well, how about this? I could see that happening. And with the King of Swords, again, this is more legal stuff. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Cups, too. Lots of kings and queens on, on the table here. I feel like there may be a group effort to organize all of this. That's kind of what I'm hearing. A group effort to organize this what turn what may turn out to be a mess. And once that happens, yeah, everything will be much better. Everything will be healed. Thank you. Victory. Because the truth. This is the truth. This is what I call the Excalibur. The Ace of Swords. This is, there, this is legal. There's something legal going on here. And it's, a, it, it's more than likely involving a contract. I'm going to title this a group effort to fix a legal issue. But the thing is, is that it's going to be healed. You have the ability to heal this. What's at the bottom of the deck? I didn't even check that. Yeah, five of cups. You have the ability to heal this. And then temperance. To bring balance. And temperance is also healing. And then the ace of wands. To start over. Again. So we have the ace of... Wow. And then under the ace of wands... What, didn't I tell you... I say I have a feeling that it's going to go... It's, it started up, then it went down, then it's going to go up again. And then guess what's under the Ace of Wands? You can't make this up. The Ace of Cups. That's letting me know that judgment is going to be in your favor. And that's also here too. Judgment as well. So you have the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and then the Ace of Cups, and then you have Judgment. And then under judgment was the four of wands. And under that is the empress. Under that is the six of pentacles. And under that is what? Wait for it. The will of fortune. And under that is the ten of pentacles. I don't think it gets any better than this. Just saying. But I also feel it's going to be a group effort. And I feel this is something legal. Is what I feel. But... Will of Fortune and the Ten of Pentacles together? Yeah, it doesn't get any better than that. So, yeah, I feel it's going to be a group effort to fix a legal situation. And you're going to come out on top in the end. And I feel like for some of you, it has something to do with a home as well. Where you're going to end up in a better situation. Because the Four of Wands, it makes me think of a home. But also Four of Wands is an upgrade card too. So yeah, so that is your message, Scorpio. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. Till next time, be blessed.